Customizing your startup file comes in handy if you notice you are constantly making the same changes after creating a new Blender project. In this video we'll show you one strategy of making sure you never lose your startup file when you install new Blender versions, or even if you have to reinstall your entire operating system. Let's begin by opening up Blender and loading the factory settings so that we have a clean slate for our demonstration. Now we'll make the changes we want to the startup file, maybe we'll switch the renderer to cycles, and make film transparent. Let's also delete the default cube so that we have a clear visual change. We could also create some default materials but let's omit that for the sake of speed. Now here's the main point, save the file into a permanent folder, preferably on a drive other than C drive, so that you always have it stored, even if you do a clean install of your operating system. Then choose file, save startup file. Now Blender will always open up with those settings. When you need to make changes to the startup file, you can do it like this. First make the changes you want. Then choose file, save as, and save on top of your custom startup file. Then go to file, save startup file. If you follow this procedure, you can rest assured that you always have your startup file in the same place waiting for you. So what happens when you change your Blender version? Let's open up an older release of Blender to demonstrate. When it opens, our startup file is gone. But now we can simply open up our custom file, and choose file, save startup file. Now also this version of Blender will use your custom startup file. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.